how we roll it. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Jake is now going to teach us so the how to ride. crab can do it. He will push his claws down there and get a pinch in. That's the best way to handle it. That or actually just have to hold it once. The proper way to do a snow crab. There it goes. Back to life. Um, that's what I mean. Like as soon as they start warming up, they get active again. So if you notice, like this was the standard one was two and three quarters. So you see that right there. And I feel like it's kind of lazy on their part, but all they did was take a niche out of this to make it the two and seven eighths it's supposed to be now. Gotcha. And all you do is you literally take one end, put it on the elbow, and if the tip goes past it, it's a legal claw. So that's a keeper. Yep. The way you do it, you can take your fingers, kind of put pressure right there on that joint, right here, right there on that joint. You take your thumb, your your finger, and you pop down like that. And what you did was you snapped the joint. If you do it wrong, you'll create a wound in the crab, and there's a much less survival rate. If you do it this way, then he can grow, grow that back. They say a year. I think it's more months, but I'm not a scientist, and I don't argue with the scientists. So I try and get along with them. Because in Alaska, everybody works together. Here, it seems like, you know, for years, it's been more like, here to just kill stuff and it's not the case at all. In Alaska, you know, they have zones and times and the scientists are together, the law, you know, everyone's on the same page. They're real nut if you get caught doing something, you're a nutbag. It's like it's not they're not really overzealous. Right. Like they are down here we get treated like criminals. So like this crab right here, this would be like a passable crab. You know, he's got Body cavities, solid, right there. I'd say that would be like your baseline large, especially because they measure tip to tip. And some crabs are stubbies, they don't have as big of a tip. So if you get a, a six inch stubby, that's a good crab. You know, he's got a lot of body to it. This guy can be standard large, can be a big medium. That's like a big large right there. That's a medium. pull it out and it sucks back in real quick it's good crap if that mandible just goes limp just let him go because he's either, he's either tired or he's gonna die so there's no point even putting him in the box don't really have that much on my belt as the water warms up and gets warmer and warmer see what i mean look at that he is right kind of well over that slat i mean you know, i'll keep some of those but not many just for the customers that want to smoke I like to keep more of a Still 
sword. So, oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, the horns right here. That's what you know about this ball. I swear there's like a little something extra in it, you know. Every people that work with me and get stabbed by that, they'll be an antibiotic. Sometimes back from a box with the back. You know how they say if you lay a shark on his back, you can kind of put it in like a comatose type state. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the same thing with these. Flexing. Sometimes when the water's really cold and you think that if the water's too cold when you cook them, mm -hmm. you see that guy? You know, he's just kind of hanging out like yep. that. I'm not sure if he's dead or not, but back in the water. So when you snap the claws off right here, you're only allowed to take what, one claw? You're allowed to take two, as long as it's not an egg bearing female, you're not allowed to take any. You shouldn't. See, my man is good in nature, he only takes one. No, I've <laughs> only saw you take one so far. Well, that's because the other one was big enough. Uh, Give me a big crab that's got two big size claws, I'll take them. And they grow back? Oh, yeah, I, grab, I, I catch them all the time. How fast do they grow back, do you know? I, know? I think within a year. Like, this one's already been harvested, but you can tell she's lucky. It was done the wrong way, it made that hole right there, mm -hmm. and she still survived it. But you're supposed to do it the other way. Good idea to grade right where you're catching trash. But yeah, you'll catch the trash sometimes again. It's not really that big of a deal. But you know, if you keep grading, feeding them, feeding them, and eventually they'll harden up. I would say they get more ma females than males because a female that's when it, it'll mate it'll, when it's gonna shed they'll get around males and they'll do like a little dance or whatever and she'll um, and he'll hold her right here in his chest and when she molts he'll turn her around and open her up and he'll mate and he'll close her back up and she'll open back up Right there, probably about 40. 
45. Wow. But we have, we have just begun. I just stopped here. I like to at some point, no matter if I have a full thing or not, I like to stop and get them out of the water. You know? I mean, they're nice. Oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to save some battery life for this camera. Let him swear that there's something in this bag that the crabs really like and makes them live longer. <laughs> so I run around town with bags like this. <laughs> I don't have a little girl. It makes me look kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You know? Well, no, actually, that's why you're using that because you don't have a little girl. If you had a little girl, there need to be a girl. That sounds like something that's going to change. It's an issue. All right, I'll show you, ladies and gentlemen, we shall return. Battery life is low.